Hey guys, Dark Recycling on FPV. <clears throat> it's about 11.30, uh, about almost 11.30 at night. I'm not gonna be up for too long here, but um, I am gonna do something here. We're gonna do uh, a couple motor tests right now. And the reason it's important right now to do it is that I've got some builds coming up and I promised those customers that I'd be able to give them some information on this. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to see any messages if you guys post any. That's gonna be kind of interesting to see if they come through because I'm using a whole different setup tonight. <clears throat> but I did wanna do this live because just like our LiPo tests, um, you know, it's kind of important that if we're going to do something live or if we're going to do something and show it, then we're going to do it live in that way. If there's any problems or, you know, anything happens, everybody knows that we didn't cover it up or we didn't set it up that way. So let me show you what we've got set up here first. Uh, and uh, here we go. So you guys have seen this before. Right here is the uh, setup of the, um, of the benchmark machine. So this is where we're going to be actually mounting the motors. As you can see on the screen there, that's going to be the uh, rest of the... Um, data that we're going to be looking at. So I did switch from the larger thrust uh, tester, which is behind this thing. I went to the smaller one here because it's going to be a little bit faster to work with. Um, and I'm trying to think, okay, so I do see, I am going to see a few texts. I'm not sure if I'm going to see them all or not. I do see uh, random FPV wrote. Uh, so anyways, if I miss anything, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to go through these pretty quickly. Um, and I'll explain a little bit about what we're going to do here. So and I, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to see anybody's messages or not because I'm using a different system. But in either case, <clears throat> here's what we're doing. I'm using the um, I'm using the Thunder Power Adrenaline. These are brand new packs, so they've all been. These are 4S batteries. Okay. Today's tests are going to be done on 15 series, 14 and 15 series motors, and the ones that I'm grabbing right now, I will show you what they are. So um, let me show you what we got here. So the ones that I've got for you is we're going to do the HTLRC. Uh, this is going to be the 1408, I believe. Yeah, 1408, 3600 kV. We're going to do the T motor uh, 1507, and this is the 3800 kV. Uh, we will do the uh, Flash Hobby, and this is going to be the 1408, 3650 kV. This is the Brother Hobby 1407, 3600 kV T1. It's one of our more common ones that we use. Um, and then we're going to use this is another Brother Hobby. And this one is going to be the 1507, I can't read this, 19 something KB. I've got it written down here. 1507, 1900 KB. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a, um, a, a KB test, okay? So let me switch over here and do the KB test. And again, I don't think I'm going to see messages, but uh, we're, gonna, we're going to see if we can. I, I have no idea if that's going to even work. Uh, so bear with me if I don't, I apologize. I'll try to get that fixed along the way here. Um, all right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to start with um, I'm going to start with this flash hobby. Okay, so the flash hobby is a uh, is the 1408 uh, 3650 kV. So to do the um, to do the kV test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the motor into the uh, unit here. So let me go ahead and just run on over here and get this ready. There you go. You guys will see. Let me put this on right here. You know what? I think if I grab this PC, hold on a second. I have a feeling if I grab this, I'll be able to see messages. So bear with me a second here. Let's try to get this up and going. I bet that should work pretty good. Yep, yeah, I think I'm going to be back here and be able to see everybody. Anybody who posts a message, I should be able to watch it. So, all right, I've grabbed this, I've grabbed this PC here so that I can see any messages that may come across. So I will put that on my bench here. Okay, there we go. All right, now with that said, let's get back to mounting this motor. So uh, I'm gonna mount this up and I'm gonna run a standard KV test. And to do that, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug in a LiPo. And with this kind of a test, the actual voltage of the LiPo doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if it's fully charged or not because it calculates it against whatever voltage is being set to it. So let me just go ahead and tighten this down. This motor might be just getting the damn thing to line up. Hold on a second. Let's see what I can do. Alright, 
So we've got the motor lined up, and what I've got is got, I have four props selected for this, okay? So let me close this. All right, here's how this is gonna work, by the way. So on the bottom here, you're gonna see these three, uh, these three alligator clips. These are tied into an F45 uh, T motor 45 amp ESC. That really doesn't matter at this point because we're only gonna be running a 4S battery, and we're not gonna be pulling full 45 amps. But I'm gonna go ahead and clip this in. I've gotta make sure, I've gotta make sure that the motors are running in a specific direction so we can mount the props. But for right now, I'm just gonna run this motor. So this is going to be, the first motor that we're gonna run right now is going to be the, uh, this is the Flash Hobby. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of write that down here on my piece of paper. So number one is gonna be the Flash Hobby. And this is gonna be the uh, 1408, I believe, 3650. So I'm gonna put uh, 1408, 3650. And then what I'm gonna use for a battery for this one is actually just gonna be the Sugar Rush battery that you can see right here. Okay, uh, I think that's on camera. Yeah, there it is. Now this battery, all I'm, like I said, all I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna run it just like it is. I don't need to do anything else. I don't need to put any props on it. I don't need to do anything. Actually, I need to leave it pretty much without anything on it at all. So we can get a reading of what is it gonna report as a KV, right? So here it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and if you watch the screen, I'm going to um, go to my utilities here. I'm gonna go ahead and name the, this is gonna be the uh, Flash Hobby. And this is going to be the 1408 3650 KV. And this is literally going to be a, um, I'm just going to put none for right now. This is going to be a KV test right here. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And we are running this battery right here. You can see the battery right now, it's freshly charged at 16.82, but it will not matter for a KV test. We'll go to manual, get this set. All right, we're going to go to automatic control and we are going to drop down and do a KV reading. Okay, and we're going to click run. And click start. The motor's going to spin. It's not going to be loud right now, so don't worry about that. Not a Julio. It would normally not with when there's no prop on here. It doesn't really matter. Pay attention to your RPMs right here. Okay, so. It's supposed to be a 3650, and the actual that we're reading is uh, 3730. We'll do a second run, because I want to do two runs on each one just to make sure. So we had the first run at 3730, and we'll have the second run here shortly. Okay, 37, 37. All right, so pretty much in the ballpark of, uh, of the both, both runs are pretty close to each other, not where I would want them to necessarily be. So they're a little higher than what we were aiming for. Uh, I'm gonna go back now. Okay, so now here's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go in this order. We have four props to test. Um, each prop test is gonna take a little while, it'll take a, a few seconds at least, about 30 seconds. This will get loud. Um, and so I'm debating here, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the smallest prop or the, the least pitch, which is gonna be the three uh, by three by three. These are all gonna be HQ props, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on. Uh, one other note here is that we're gonna use the same uh, fastener for each motor. I'm not gonna swap these out. So it's gonna be the low profile setup. Uh, I can tell you right now that just by touching this motor, it's a little warm from just that test. Uh, but here it goes, all right? So let me go ahead and get Gotta find my tool to fasten that down. Hold on a second. Let's see if this one will fit. I think that did. Alright, so I'm gonna fasten this down and we're gonna get started. Keeping in mind that we know a few things are gonna happen. First one is I want you to look at the screen. And that is gonna be that we are gonna zero out the thrust here in just a minute. The second thing is we're gonna take this battery off. This, uh, this battery right here is going to be, let me see if I can get this right here, there. This battery right here is only for KV measuring. I'm gonna set that aside. Now I'm gonna get a brand new Thunder Power RC right here. This is the 4S, uh, this is a 1600, 95C 1600. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. 
I plug it in. All right, now we are using, again, so we're gonna to go to our utilities and we are going to say that we're gonna use the HQ and it's gonna be three by three by three. So we can take this off and we'll put this as none. All right, so with that said, uh, we're gonna to go to our uh, manual. Let's get it ready. This will get loud, so I suggest that you turn your speakers down. If you have your speakers turned up, please turn them down. And I'm gonna click run, and here it goes. Oh, sorry, before I tell you, uh, before I tell you, uh, before I run it, I mean, uh, I do wanna show you guys um, what we're gonna be reading at, okay? We're gonna take readings at basically 1200 or 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, full throttle, 80, 60, 40, and 20. Each one is gonna run for four seconds and we're gonna take readings and then there's gonna be an Excel spreadsheet. The Excel spreadsheet I'll show you guys later. All that you need to look at right now is you can watch this, uh, the thrust graph as well. You can look over here and see where the thrust is here uh, and you can watch your voltage. You'll get all the data later on, but what we wanna know right now is that the motors can handle it, okay? So here we go, we're gonna go ahead and click, uh, I'm gonna clear this and we're gonna click run and we're gonna do our first run with the Flash Hobby uh, motor. Here we go, run and start. And it will get loud, like I said, so. Okay, only thing I need to do, guys, is I'm going to switch the direction of the motor, so give me one second. Did that person just say, do not use with it? Do not use, uh, do not use with a propeller. Mm. Okay. Uh, all right. So Bryce, uh, here goes. Um, guys, that beeping in the background is going to actually be um, the batteries that we're getting ready for the next one. All right. Let me zero out again. We need the props. The way this machine is done, the way the company RC Benchmark says it is, it needs to go, it needs to push outward. So it's pushing the machine in. That's why the props are reversed and that's how it's supposed to be. We go ahead and click run again. And we're going to start this one more time. There we go. You can see the thrust right here at the different intervals. So looking at it, uh, I, I mean, I kind of glanced up here. I think that we hit somewhere around 506 uh, at full. Uh, so at 100% at throttle, we hit about 506 uh, grams of thrust. Now, what the one thing we are gonna do is, that's it for this battery. I'm gonna use it one run, and then I'm gonna take it back and go charge it again, okay? So I'm gonna put that on the charger, and I'll get ready for the next one. At the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and take this prop off. Motor's a little warm. I mean, I can keep my finger on it, but it is warm. Um, and so I'm going to let it chill for just a second while I put the next prop on. So this is a 3x3x3, three by three by three. and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to a 3x4x3, three by three by three, which is right here. Let me go if I make sure that it's right. I can't read. I'm too blind to see this. Yeah, that's right. So this is another HQ. Three by four by three. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. Get that fastened. I'll get that battery put on the charger. I've got eight other batteries, brand new ones here ready to go. Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna go put this one here. Where did I? That's over here. All right, I'm gonna plug this one in because I wanna keep these. I've got 12 total that we're using. So we should be able to keep cycling these without any issues. Uh, but I'm going to just grab a couple here. So hold on a second and we'll get ready to run the next run. All right, so here's another one that's freshly done. And I'll get that ready. All right, so here goes. So this is going to be the 3 by 4 by 3 Let me go ahead and get that ready under our utilities. I'm going to change this to a 3 by and Like I said, these are all going to be HQ props for right now. Same, uh, oh, you know what? This is going to be the, sorry, this is going to be the 1600, and this should say adrenaline. So I need to change that on the last one. 
it won't make any difference at this point, but there you go. All right, so we're gonna zero out the thrust. Let's go to manual, get it ready. Okay. And here goes with the three by four by three. Get ready, it is gonna get loud. So on the three by, uh, this is a flash hobby. It's kind of um, it's kind of more of a generic one that we're using uh, for some of our school builds. But the reason I'm using this one with you guys first is I want you to see what happens with the next ones that we put up here. Uh, it's good to start with this one because it'll kind of kind of define what's going to happen next. So all right, so with the three by four by three, um, we pulled uh, right around a little bit less actually. I think like one gram of thrust less, maybe nothing major by any means. Uh, motor is still warm. Uh, it's actually quite a bit warmer than it was before. I can still keep my fingers on it, but I wouldn't want to do that for more than like maybe 10 seconds. Right? That's a little warm. Alright, so that's 3x4. So we did the 3x3 three three and the 3x4. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that one. Now, here's the one that probably gives me... Oops. Yeah, this is going to be the most concerning to me. This is a 3x5. This is a pretty taxing prop. Um, but again, I want to see what happens here. So this flash hobby has survived a three by three and a three by four. All right, I'm gonna give it one second of rest here and go put that battery on the charger and get the next one ready for you guys. So let me grab that. All right, so with this one charging, we've got plenty more here that are already charged and ready to go. So we've got a three by five. I'm gonna give this a second to rest. Uh, one more second to rest. Uh, and uh, let's see. Yeah, it is noisier. It's definitely going to be noisier. You're going to get much more noise as the pitch uh, gets worse. So this one's going to be the worst of all of them. So let me go ahead and set this up on the computer uh, real quickly. And we're going to go here. This is going to be the 3 by 5 by 3 We've got a fresh battery right here ready to go. I wanted the motor to just chill just a little bit. Um, but you know what? That's all right. Let's just go ahead because in the real world, we're running them hard anyway, so... Okay, prop is ready, motor's ready. I'm going to go ahead and clear the thrust here. Zero it out. There it is. All right, this is going to be the loudest one so far. So please, like I said, just be careful. Turn the volume down, and here we go. Okay, so so far there was not that much thrust coming out of this one, and I'll tell you what's happening is that there's so much um, there's so much uh, pitch on this that the RPMs are just too low. This thing is not, and I can smell it. So I can tell you right now, this motor is. I mean, it's hot, darn, it's hot. Okay, so right now I would say that it would be a complete mistake to. Now I'll look at the data. We'll look at the data later. Uh, I'm not going to run this all my. Oh shoot, it's hot. Uh, with the data, but it, what is impressive, and I was gonna do the test with the four, oh, what happened? I was gonna do the test with the four blade, uh, the three by three by fours, um, but after doing that three by, after doing a three by five, uh, it's, it's, I think the motor could use a little bit of rest. Um, but you know what, I mean, I really would like to be able to show you guys what the three by three, uh, well, I guess if we blow the motor, we blow it. 
let's let's just see what I can do. I mean, like, how oh, shit did the top go? Ooh. All right, so <laughs> I'm trying to tighten the damn thing down with the charger. Okay, let me take this battery off. I'm gonna put this on the charger. All right, and I'll come back with. I've got, like I said, I've got six of them piled there that are. These are brand new adrenalines. So let me go ahead and get that started. All right. So that's charging them. While that charges, we'll do our last run with this one. This is going to be, this is going to be, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, three by three by four. And yes, whoever asked and wrote that, that is, it is a flash hobby, 1408, 3650 KV. All right. Uh, so let's grab one more adrenaline. Here we go. And I'm going to go back, click the turn here, go to my utilities. I'm hoping this motor survives uh, this last run. It is quite a bit to put these motors through. And this motor is, you know, really kind of an off, it's an off brand in regard to like what people are used to using. It's not one of the big marketed name brands, but um, it is something we found some success with. So let's see, we're using a three by three by four. Everything else looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this, go to automatic, and this is it. So let's click run, start. This will be the last test for the Flash Hobby motor, okay? I mean, I, I'll, I'll give it to you like this. I'm, I'm happy with the motor the way it did. Um, looking at the thrust on this, this motor is going to be, and the data is probably going to show this, but I think it's going to be a little bit of a surprise to many that the 3x3x3 seems to be, uh, and the 3x4x3, 3x3x3 seems to be the best so far. Um, it's that beeping, just in case you do hear it, that is just another battery ready to go. All right, so this flash hobby is done. I'm going to take this off now, and that's going to actually just go away for the day. And we're gonna get started. I think the next motor I'm gonna do is gonna be the Brother Hobby, all right? I wanna test the Brother Hobbies out because Brother Hobby's been a pretty popular brand. Um, and, uh, uh, sorry, that's a Brother Hobby, and I'm, I'm met between Brother Hobby and HDLRC. So, uh, oh shit, this motor's hot. All right, so I'm gonna put this motor away. It survived. Um, I will tell you that uh, this is the motor right here, all right? And, uh, you can see it right there, I think. Camera, but that's ah, that picture sucks but that's the motor right there okay so let's get back to our data now all right so that's the flash hobby and we're going to put that aside we'll put that on the computer here let's get started with the next one so i think what i will do is i'll do the um uh, i'll do the i'll do the brother hobby next um so let's do that let's go ahead and do that and then we're going to do the um we're going to do the hdrc after that okay so let me get this brother hobby in here. This is going to be the Tornado, the T1. Now, full disclosure on this one, of all the motors that you're seeing me run, this one's actually not a brand new one. This was run earlier today. So if anything does go wrong, I owe it fair to brother hobby to get a fresh one. I just don't feel like going out because it's been raining all day. Um, the rest of these I already had boxed and ready in here to go brand new. This one was new, and I needed to test it for a customer anyway, so I did it earlier for not this bench test, but something else. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, let me go ahead and plug this in. Let me get this going here. One, two, and three. We will get a KV test on this first. So we're going to do a true KV test. I'm just going to use the existing battery that's on here for that. So let me go over here. Let's go to turn. Let's go to utilities. This motor right here is going to be the Brother Hobby T1 14 Oh, my box is away, sorry guys. It's gonna be the, two, the T1 1407 3600 KV. So 1407, there we go, 3600 KV. All right, we have no props, we're gonna do KV test instead. And the props right now is gonna be none. And we're gonna leave the same adrenaline on here because like I said, it doesn't matter um, uh, what you run at this point. So let's uh, go to manual, let's go ahead and reset this. And here we're going to go to KV. 
And let's see what the real KB is. Let's run it in the window. Okay, so we're supposed to be getting 3,600 KV. The first true KV reading was 3,525, so I'm gonna run that. Uh, I'm gonna write that down, and remember we're gonna do two passes on that, so I'm gonna click start again, see what it's gonna be again. Okay, 35.17. So we're kind of off here. I mean, this is this is a little disappointing. Actually, it's it's quite disappointing. Um, I expected more out of the Brother Hobby. That's a pretty low KV rating. Um, so my guess is that while we may see some pretty good, uh, hold on, we've got some batteries that are ready to go here, so let me just pull these off. While we may see some good performance out of it, I do think that we, we might also see some pretty low RPMs out of it. Sorry guys, let me just pull, these batteries are just like getting ready bit by bit here. Let me put this one on and I'll bring some new batteries over and we'll get ready to test the Brother Hobby. So here it goes. Okay, so I should be able to perform all these tests without having to get up and charge anymore. So here we go. We're going to start with the first one, which is going to be, um, it is low KV, it is. And this is, this is going to be a concern. This is where I think, kind of like when we talked about testing the lipos, I think we need to check the motors every once in a while, make sure everybody's doing their windings right, and you know, just see what we're getting out of these motors. So we're gonna start with the three by three by three. All right, and I've got all the batteries ready to go, so we're just gonna kick this into drive right now. And I don't have to pause for anything here, so let me go ahead and just, first batteries going in. All right, and then let me go ahead Go return, go to utilities, and this is going to be the 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Let me just set this as not a KV test, and we put none. Alright, so we will go to our manual, get this ready to go. Okay, we're going to zero out the thrust real quick, so it starts pretty fair, and let's get started. And again, guys, this is the Brother Hobby T1, 1407, 3600 KV. Okay, I need to stop it. Sorry, one second. Again, this is going in the wrong way. I'll swap that out real quick. Okay, we'll get started again. Good run. Motor hit around 520. Uh, the thrust of hit around 520. Can't complain. I'll take that. That's so far. That's going to be the highest um, between this and the flash hobby. This hit around 520. So uh, it's about 15 grams of thrust faster. But I mean, I'm looking. I'm taking the number from what I see. I can look on the on the chart in the chart for sure. So that's going to be the uh, three by three by three. Now we're going to go to three by four by three. All right. And I'm just going to get ready and. I'll give it like a minute to cool a little bit, not too much longer than that because it's not necessary. Uh, sorry, I think I just moved the whole thing camera, I'm not sure. If I did, I'll put it back. Let me see, is that going to be, yeah, it should be all right. Let's 
Yeah, I just don't want this camera. I didn't want it to jump too much. Let me make sure I got this for you guys. Okay, so uh, that's ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get the battery put on. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and let's go to return. Go to our utilities. Changes to 3 by 4 by 3 Okay, go to automatic. Zero it out. All right, guys, here goes the 3 by 4 by 3 Okay, I noticed that I'm not getting a thrust reading on this one. Let me go ahead and connect this back and see. I don't know if that's an issue on the software. I just noticed that when I looked. There we go. So let me reset that. Okay, and it's probably going to be a little bit of an unfair run, but let me just make sure that I've got it set. Uh, let me see. I'm going to let it. I'm going to let it sit for a second. I didn't notice that that wasn't going. Uh, let me see. try it again see what happens make sure we get a reading this time yeah, there we go Alright, I don't even think that it hit uh, in the same area, uh, in the same range as the last one. So, um, I still think that we're getting better performance out of the 3x3. Three three. But again, uh, let me go ahead and get this off here. And we'll get to the next one. So, the next one's going to be the 3x5. That's going to be, like I said, it's going to be the most taxing. I can tell you that this motor doesn't seem to be as hot as the um, flash hobby was at the same at the same point. But, I mean, it is warm, though. It is definitely warm. And I recorded the Flash Hobby and the uh, this Brother Hobby very close. I mean, within three within three grams of thrust between each other on that last run. So, um, there, I don't really know what to say at this point until we see the rest of the data. Um, but here goes. We're going to get another adrenaline. Uh, here goes. All right, let me just make sure. I'm going to do this just one second. Kind of cool. Like I said, this motor was used once today, so I do want to make sure I'm fair and say that it is not, it was brand new about four hours ago. Uh, all right, so now we're going to go to our utilities and let's set this one to be the 3x5. All right, and let's put our manual, reset that. Automatic, clear out the thrust, and we're going to run this one. Here it goes. Okay, the 3 by 5 by 3 produced the exact same results again, um, which was pretty poor results. I'm already starting to see that this prop is going to be a, ouch, that's hot. It's going to be eliminated, and that's hot, from, uh, a, I'll have to see where the prop is good. It's definitely not efficient um, at, on this level at all. Uh, but it doesn't mean it's not efficient, period. It just means it's not efficient at the top range. This thing is not, it's not a very good prop, not for this. Um, all right, so the last one we have is a three by three by four. So let's go ahead and get that ready. And then it's gonna be off to the HGLRC. Uh, 
crop next, okay? All right, so that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and get to our settings here. Go to utilities, and this is gonna be the three by three by four. All right, I'm gonna clear that. Let's go to manual. Let's get our battery ready. Got a brand new one here. I'll tell you what, I, th I, th I think it might be okay to run it. I mean, it's a little warm. It's warm, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, but let's go ahead and just set it and see. Part of this is gonna be endurance anyway. So while that runs, I'm gonna get up and get these other batteries plugged back in real quick. So here it goes. Okay, and that does it for the Brother Hobby. That's our uh, that's our four props to test for this one. So that'll come off now. I'm gonna plug the battery. Get that set over here. And we're gonna go ahead and set this hot. I'm not allowed to set this hot, but it's not. Believe it or not, it's not as hot. It's definitely not as hot as the, as the flash hot. All right. So keep throwing this. All right. So this one's gonna come off now and we're gonna to go to the HGLRC next, all right? So let's do that. And then we have two 15 series after that. So we'll be able to compare the 15s to the 14s and see what we, what we end up with. Okay. Good, this is gonna last at two, so that's good. So we have two successful motors so far, two successful runs. Uh, let me put these here. All right, so now we've got the HGLRC. Now I'm going to tell you right off the bat, and I did mention this, I just mentioned, mentioned this to HGLRC tonight, um, that, uh, uh, here, let me show you what I'm talking about first real quickly. Here, so here's the HGLRC, right? This is the 1408, this is the FD, the 1408 3600 KV. The biggest problem I have right now is these wires are extremely small. I mean, here's a uh, Brother Hobby, okay, in comparison, as far as wires, okay? Here is the T-Motor in comparison. All right, there you go. All right, so again, still, if you look at Flash Hobby, the problem is, is that if you take a, uh, this, is, this is easily, these props, are there, these motors are good on four inch as well. And the problem is, is you can't fit this on a four inch frame. Um, the amount of wire, I just did an install last night and I barely had enough wire to make this fit on a three inch frame, all right? So on a four inch frame, uh, it's very tough. I mean, I would be very surprised to see this successfully mount on most four inch frames. And if I'm just looking around, I think I have one somewhere around here, probably. Um, it's, just, it's just not enough wire. They, this is, maybe for a three inch it's okay, but this is definitely not enough wire for a four inch frame. So, uh, and even for a three inch, depending on what it is, it wouldn't be enough. They've got to add more, so I'm asking them to please add some more wire to this, because this is, this is just way too small. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trim off a little bit of this, because they've, they've tinned a very small amount of it, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, uh, it saves you from having to do much work when you're soldering it, but at the same time, like I said, these wires need to be, I mean, at least the length of a T-motor wire. Uh, but um, I don't know, man. I've always liked the way Brother Hobby did their wires because they're not chinchy on their wires. And that really helps a lot, especially if you end up cutting the wire and you've got some leftover to, uh, you know, do some extensions down the road. All right, so let me mount this real quickly. I'd be interested to see how this does. This is the FD 1408 3600 KV. Let me get this on here. Well, the super short wires. I don't understand it, but it is what it is. All right, so first thing we're going to do is do our KV test. <sighs> so let me get this ready. All right, 
for the KB test, I'm actually going to just use the old battery because, it, like I said, it doesn't matter the voltage on that. So here we go. And let's do this. So we are going to go to our utilities, change this to show that it is now going to be a KB test. And this is going to be the HDLRC. FD, C, FD, 1408, I can't type, 3600 KV, okay? And we are not doing any problems right now. All right, we'll go to our manual control, activate it here, there we go. Automatic, and let's do KV test run and stop. All right, this will be strictly KV, so let's see what happens. Thirty-five seventy-seven. All right, so far HDLRC that puts them as the closest. Let's return. We're gonna do another run on it real quickly. Here we go. Hold up. Let me let me get this ready. All right. This is the second run on this. Well, you guys can't see that. Sorry, guys. Thirty-five ninety-five. I mean, like, that's awesome. So, so far, HDLRC. Sorry about not switching the screen for you. So far, HDLRC is going to get the. I mean, the hands down there for being the closest to the KV. I will tell you that I have. I I know for a fact that I've I've run this before on the last motor and it was exactly it came back exactly at the kv i mean i was shocked i even sent a picture to them and told them holy crap good job guys that was awesome all right so i'm going to go ahead now we're going to start our test like normal with the um three by three by three so i'm going to go ahead and pop that battery off get a brand new battery and we're going to do the three by three by three first uh, i need to see if it's spinning in the right direction so hold on a second All right, so that's ready. Now let's go ahead and go to our utilities. Make sure to note that we're doing no KV test. And we're doing three by three by three. All right, and we're gonna go automatic control. Let's return, clear that, drop down to our thrust test here, click run. All right, guys, this could be three by three by three on the HDLRC FD 1408 3600 KV. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that sucker went uh, to 573 grams of thrust, making this one so far the most powerful motor tested. Uh, with a 3x3 prop, we hit 500. So just as an example, I think the Brother Hobby hit 520, uh, the T1. I believe the Flash Hobby hit 506. And these are roundabout numbers. And the Brother Hobby, I mean, sorry, the HDLRC hit up to 573. That's pretty, that's pretty intense. Um, uh, temperatures, it's pretty warm. It's warm. Um, all right, no time to waste. We're going to jump to another battery and get ready to go to the 
three by four. Oh, hold on. Let me put that on after. We're going to the three by four by three now, so a little bit bigger pitch. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. While I'm doing that, it's going to cool down just a little bit. No, it's not too hot. I mean, I can keep the finger on it, so it's not going to be too bad. All right. So this is the three by four by three, so let's go to our setup. Let's return here. Where we're set. Uh, our utilities are mean and change this to three by four by three. All right. And go to manual, to active. here and here we go so this is going to be three by four, four by three guys we'll see how good this does in comparison uh, so let's see what's happening hold on hold on we got a late start on that one so let me alright here we go All right, so again, we hit about 571, um, but let me be clear. The smell from this motor, um, I'd be willing to bet that if I ran that same prop again, this motor would probably fry, would probably smoke. I'm almost tempted to do it because I think I heard the sound, like I heard it getting ready to give out, um, and that's kind of concerning to me. But to be fair, I'll only run it once. Uh, and I guess we'll go on to this. I haven't seen this from any of the, from the other motors at this point yet, so I'm a little concerned. Um, but I've got to push it. So we've had a flash hobby and a brother hobby sustain the next prop. I'm going to be curious to see if this one can do the same. So this is going to be the 3 by 5 by 3 um, but I will tell you that I would be very concerned that I don't think it would handle another 3x4x3 by by run here. But we'll see. It's just the sound and the smell is really concerning right now. Um, but let me just go ahead and get it ready. Okay. And I think for this one, what I'm going to do, guys, is I I, uh, I know, Robert, I'm thinking about it. Um, I think what I may do is I may swap the screens because I really have this bad feeling right now. So I may leave it like that. And see, and uh, I don't know, there's something about that last run that didn't sit well with me. Uh, let me go over here. Changes to 3x5x3. Three by by three. All right, and let's go to our manual control. Okay. All right, guys, here it goes. We'll see what happens. I just don't know if this is going to be able to handle it. see the smoke I don't know if you can see the smoke but uh, yeah you can I mean we've got an error coming from the machine and there's smoke that came off the motor and that motor is pretty much toast okay so I mean we have an error here uh, the error is that uh, I mean the machines blinking so there's definitely a problem this is a, I mean this is a pretty big disappointment um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that it burned uh, I'm, I'm extremely bummed by this because of the fact that, um, you know, I mean, let me look at this here. So, so I mean, like, you know, this, this, this is a pretty, this is a high dollar motor in, in, in terms of cost compared to others. Um, and being that it's a 1408, 
I don't think we, st you know, I don't know. Let me just take this prop off real quick and see what it looks like. Um, I, mean, we, I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to look at this motor. Oops, I'm going to look at this motor real quickly. Uh, a little disappointed though. Um, I'm going to see if it will let me. Uh, yeah, we definitely have a. We definitely have an error on the machine here. So let me just go ahead and plug the machine and plug it back in now because it, it also seemed to have stopped the machine uh, pretty promptly. So give me a second here. I'm going to try to get this hooked up. We're going to see if we can. Here, I'll show you what I'm doing here. So we're going to see if we can connect back in. Looks like we should be able to connect in. I'm going to see if this motor will give it another chance to spin. Well, it probably won't. I'm just going to get back in here. Come on. Sorry, guys. Okay, so so I'm curious about now is... Um, yeah, I mean, right, hold on. yeah, it's dead. Motor's dead. So that sucks. That's a real big bummer. I'm really, really, really... Um, I'm really disappointed. Let me go ahead and um, take this motor off real quickly. I, I really expected this to do a ton better. I mean, HDRC has been a very strong motor. This sucker's still hot, though. Uh, we'll have to check with them. I just have to understand why uh, a motor like this would fail. I'm not really sure. Um, I will get with them and find out. It's disappointing. But it is what it is. I'll have to get more information from them later. All right. Um, that being said, uh, that's a sh really crappy way to end uh, that run with 14s. So what we're going to do now, since we've already done a Brother Hobby motor, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and actually do the uh, T motor here. So this is going to be the 15 series. And this is going to be a 1507. Uh, I believe this is a 3800 kV. Now, there's something interesting about T motor I want to look at before I run this. Um, and I probably won't pick on them right now, but tomorrow I'm going to because I'll tell you that there's a few things that I found out um, when I'm testing the other stuff I was pretty bad about, but again, uh, better, better to just wait and I'll be back with that information later, but I do want to see something like that. So I'm curious, we have a 1508, this is theirs right here, and <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to see if I, let me see if I can do, let me see if I can do this here. Let me go to t Let me see if this should be the right case, I think. Oh, man, that sucks for the, uh, that really sucks for the uh, HLRC. All right, so let me go to, where's FPV? FPV. All right, I want to find this motor, and I want to see how they rated it on their site, because I do not like, I do have a problem with the way they're doing their stuff here. Um, but we'll deal with that later. So where is this? 1404 note 15. Uh, this is the hold on. This is the F1507. What the hell is that? Oh, come on. Oh, Let me just do this. 1507. Let's see if this works. 1507. Okay, the 1507. This is the one we're working on right here. And I'm curious to see the chart on this one. Because T-Motor, I think their charts are a little skewed. But let's just see. So we're running the 3800 kV. Uh, they said that they, on the 3800 kV, the max amount of thrust, they said they got 673 grams using a 3140, 35 amp PSC, and they were running uh, a 4S battery at 100% for one minute. Okay, so this is where it's going to get interesting, okay? I'm going to run... Now, they use a 3140. I mean, they're using a 3.1 inch. Do they have the chart? I need you to know, what the hell is the chart? Let me go to parameters. It may be on the parameters. Okay. So, let's just be fair. Um, they're using a 3050. No, let's go to 3800. Well, they did. They used a 3052, a 3140, and a 3035. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the 3040. Okay, not a 3140, but I'll use a 3040. So I'm going to take this uh, 3 by 4 by 3 I'm just going to jump straight to this because this really, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to jump to this one first because they're saying that you can run this one for one minute 
at 100% throttle to get this temperature. I'm gonna see if this thing runs for one minute at 100% on a 30, 40. Okay, so let me just go ahead and do that real quick. I'm just curious. I'm curious to see what one minute at 100% throttle looks like. So we're gonna do it because that's how nutty we are. So here's my freshly charged battery. I'm gonna go back to our software and I'm going to adjust the, um, the uh, automatic control here. And I'm just gonna click edit. And I'm gonna actually name this T motor. So T motor one minute. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say, okay, for one minute, I want you to, I want you, I'm probably gonna have it climb up, climb up, climb up. And then since we're talking about four, eight, 12, 16, so I'm gonna let it have 16 seconds. Uh, let's see, 45, I'm gonna run this for 45 seconds at full power, all right? And then I'm just gonna have it creep back down and see if it even survives, but I'm gonna have it run at full throttle for 45 seconds and see if this survives, okay? So I'm gonna click run. God help us, I don't, think this, I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be interesting. Let me go ahead and click these. I'll do all the other stuff later with them. Really, I just feel like if, if they run this for a full minute with a 4S and this prop, or something similar to this prop, it's gonna be interesting. All right, so here we go. First, let me make sure that we are in the right direction for the motor. Okay. Okay. I'm Owen Ford here, if I'm guessing it's the end of the That should do it there. Let me verify one more time. Yep, perfect. Okay, guys, it's going to be the longest test so far. This is, I don't know, I don't know how it's going to do, but we're going to see. All right, so let me go to utilities. Let me change this, and this is not going to be a KV test. This is actually going to be 3x4x3. Three by by three. Uh, and we're going to do this as a one minute, one or 45 seconds, I guess is what we could say, even though it's going to climb up. Uh, everything else is right. No, that is the T motor. F1507, uh, 3800 kV. Okay. And we're going to see if this thing runs for one minute. Uh, I'm going to be very shocked if it does, but could be completely wrong and this thing might kick, kick to the last here we go when we start it here it goes it's gonna be a long test let's see what happens okay i will um i will do this this time here let's do it like this there Holy cow. All right. So, yeah. So here's here's what happens. I'm going to go ahead. I, I've got to um, I've got to see this because I think from the from what I'm looking at, um, and that was a 45 second run. I will give it to him. That sucker lasted 45 seconds. Ouch, I can't touch it. Though. I'm going to tell you that right now. Son of a bitch. This thing's hot. Um. You know what they've got I'm, I'm so curious now that i feel like that minute is going to be the 
Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna try to show this to you. Well, I can't because it's not gonna pop up here. So let me see if I can see if I can get any kind of a picture of this. I don't think you guys can see that right there, but I will put it on a camera later. Uh, I think all the coils are black. I mean, this thing is probably about five seconds away from burning out totally. The, the motor's running. Um, and I'm not really sure what their purpose was. Uh, yeah, this is, it's 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 like um, I don't I don't really get it. So so here's my here's my deal with them, right? Here's my deal. Uh, the motor. I don't know if you can see. I mean, you can't see any copper. It's it's completely black. The the thing is pretty much all black at this point. Okay. Um, what got me about the T motor posting was that uh, the motor won't survive. I mean, like it survives on that run. If I run it one more time, for, if I run it for probably ten more seconds, you know what? You know what? I tell you what. Um, uh, let's, uh, I'm doing 6S tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be, uh, uh, 6S, but, uh, hold on. I'm trying to see something here. Um, I'm going to go grab, I'm going to go grab another one because I'm curious. I got to see this. Hold on. I'm going to grab one more. I'm, I'm going to see what it takes on this thing because um, I'm not really sure. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. I've got plenty of here. I'm going to go grab another one someday. So I got another one, and wow, that seems terrible. And my wife's gonna kick my ass, and she smells this later. Oof. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna take this battery. I got a full one here, ready to go. So I'm gonna take this one here, and we're gonna test this again. Uh, well, okay. So here's the deal, and you're right. And I thought the same thing, except I'm gonna put it towards the full one minute now. Um, and the the idea behind it is. Not that it, you know, and it's probably not right. Well, hold on. Let me be fair. Let me be fair. First of all, I need to do the test like I did the other motors. I have it. I had it in for them to, uh, because I have another motor from them that I will be doing tomorrow. And the only reason I'm going to use the other motors because it did fail and it pissed me off. Um, because the motor, there's no way the motor, the motor couldn't even last 20 seconds at at the throttle we were doing, and they're talking about it lasting a minute. So I was really skeptical about if any of their motors could last a minute. Now, to be fair, I'm gonna go ahead and run this motor like the rest of them. Um, I will do a true KV test first. So this is gonna be a fresh new one. I'm gonna go ahead and install that real quick. All right, and let's get to the video here. All right, now I'll be fair. Then we're gonna do our true KV test first. This other one, I'll take this off and show you guys the pictures of it later. Um, let me get all this trash out of the way so I'm going to get sucked in by the prop. Alright, so the first test is going to be, uh, first one is going to be the 2KV. After these tests, I don't know, man, I mean, I don't know, I almost want to run this again. But let me let me just do the 2KV first, and then I'm going to go ahead and put them to the test again on that one minute. Um, so let's, uh, let's return. Uh, I've got the battery. I don't, I don't need a new battery for the KV test. So let me go ahead and just go to KV. All right, here goes. So it's supposed to be 3,800 KV. Let's see if it hits that first. So the first run at this, hold on a second, let me do something else here real quick, only because that's that's too far, that can't be right. Uh, so let's go ahead and put, uh, let's edit this, I'm going to do a pull, 
shit. Where's, although I could easily just look at this one now. It's not too hot. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It should be the same. That should be 14. Out of 12, I mean, actually, this may be more. So let me just run this real quick and see what we get. We're going to do a poll. I want to do a poll test here and get the idea of how many poles this is. Because it's hard for me to count all these magnets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This actually is a 14. I think this is going to be, yeah, a 14 pole. Uh, 14 poles. Okay, so that's what we have. Okay, so if we go to our setup here, so let's go ahead because this is going to be different. So now let me go ahead for this one. I do have to change this to 14 poles. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And then let's go back to automatic, return, do our KV, run, start. Now we're going to be able to get a good KV run. The other ones are 12 pole, but this one is a 14 pole. Okay, it's supposed to be 30, hold on a second. This is supposed to be 3,800 KV. All right, uh, first reading is gonna be 3,594. Now, time out a second. So, no, that's right, 3,594, this is a problem. Second reading, let's do it again. Battery, I mean, the battery low doesn't affect the KV. Uh, it doesn't affect the reading of the KV because it adjusts. So, I mean, like, you know, if you have one volt, it should spin at 3,800. If you have 15 volts, I mean, that's not that's not going to affect it. So that's why I'm not worried about it. It would affect thrust and stuff, but it won't affect the KV reading. Okay, 3,588. Right, because... I mean, if we, if we do the math right, so we know that a KV is going to be, it's, you know, the RPM per volt, right? So, I mean, if you have one volt and this thing runs at 3,800 RPM, then we know that we're getting 3,800 KV. So, at, at the very least here, this should be running relative to the 15.94 volts, and it's not. Um, so, that is probably one concern right there, but, but I will be fair about it. Um, let's just do a new battery. I've got one right here, and then we'll use this to test the props as well. This should be 16.88, it is, or 16.77, I mean, so it's fine. All right, so I'll give it another run real quick just to see. If it does affect it, it would be I'd be surprised, but hey, at this point, there's a lot of things that could happen. So let's just see. So as you can see, we're still, I mean, that 3594 is exactly what we got the first time. So you, you can see right there, it doesn't matter on battery voltage. There's definitely something wrong with the uh, reading on this uh, because this motor is not hitting the 3800 kV right off the bat. So this is where I would say, okay, well, if it's going to, even though it's still running a minute at that is tough, um, I'm still surprised. Uh, I tell you what, though, let's just get to it here real quickly. No sense in wasting time on it. I'm going to start with the 333. So here goes. I'm gonna put the three by three by three, uh, and I'm going to, um, I'm actually probably gonna kill this one. So just get ready, because I'm gonna let this one run for a full minute at the three by three by three. I don't think the motor will die, I don't know yet, but I know that that's one of the things that they had on their site, is that on a three by, well, they had a three by 3.5, uh, and they ran it and they said that 100% they got 549 grams of thrust and that the heat see their heat wasn't bad So this shouldn't really be that bad. I just hate to ruin the motor again 
Uh, but hell, that's what we do, right? So let's go back. All right, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to our T-Motor one minute. We're gonna edit this. And we're gonna say that they said they ran it for a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna see if I can just cut the climbing time frame down so it's not speaking too long. But we're gonna run it at one minute at 100%. Okay, oops, sorry. Here it goes, guys. This will be the test. To, this will be interesting. All right, so we're going to run this for 60. What the hell? I keep moving out of this spot. Here we go, 60 seconds. Okay, that's what they said they can do, so let's run it. Uh, let's go to manual control. All right, here we go. Automatic control. Clear the thrust out, and uh, here it goes. Let's hope for the best. Yeah, that was really fun. Hold on a second. Let's try that one again, Joe. This is going to be interesting, guys. are getting a little too close to the prop, so let me just make sure that they stay away. They're not afford to get them chopped up. So I better put one second. Zero on the thrust again for a second. Yep, yeah, that'll work. All right, let's zero thrust. Start. All right, here we go. Last chance here. Okay, it's good to go. One minute. Let's be honest, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. Anybody want to guess on that one? Oh, my wife's gonna kill me. Oh man, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna be so pissed. Yeah. So that's. It smells so bad. <laughs> Darn. Okay. So, um, needless to say, okay, so look, here's the deal. Yeah, exactly, damn, that's exactly what I'm saying. So here's the deal, guys, look. I mean, let's see if I point this way, is it that way? No, it's that way, yeah, look, right, no, that way. Camera's reversed, I gotta, I gotta, this is driving me nuts. There, now, that way. God darn it, that way. Perfect, got it. Uh, I know, I know, I'm gonna, I'm going to open the doors here in a second. So it doesn't matter. Look, here's the deal. I would love to know. Uh, and I mean, this is the kind of crap that gets me, right? Is, and I, it's not the only motor that they've done that with, right? And I don't know anybody else that's done it, but I'd be more than happy to put their stuff out here on display. But, uh, and I'm not dogging them on it. I guess what I'm trying to say is, how in the hell did you run this motor on a 3052 or a 31, I mean, like, I, I just don't buy it. And you know, the funny part of it is, is it literally was getting to the same point as the other one. I just don't see it. I, I don't believe it. And I, I don't know if they were saying that and they're like, oh, but listen, it's it won't work after that. Um, so don't touch it. Yeah, I think I think the prop is melted, actually. Um, I think we had a little fire even. I'll have to go back and watch that again. But at the end of the day, though, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, it's not a motor that can run for a minute like that. It's not a motor that can run with that prop for a minute like that. I mean, it's just not. And I'm not, I'm not, I, I have it out to get them a little, let me rephrase that. I have it out to call them out on it only because 
I saw one of their motors fail in 30 seconds that they said ran for a minute. And that was on a test we did. We're going to do another test on that motor tomorrow night for you guys. So I was like, you know what? It's really not cool because what they say is, okay, here's the temperature. But what they're not saying is, by the way, it caught on fire in the, in the meantime. And that's something I think that should be definitely out there because, anyway, it doesn't seem to be that clear. Anyways, so needless to say, um, I'm not going to mess with this. It's It read... I'm, I'm extremely disappointed. It read very low on the KV rating. Uh, we got 3594 and 3588 on a 3800 KV. Makes no sense whatsoever. So, um, uh, well, I, I, I'll, be, I'll be honest with you, Robert. I mean, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what their standards. Let me, let me be honest. I don't know what their standards are. Okay, now, um, uh, no, it, it, that's the thing. Is okay. So you're right. Nobody is hammering for a minute at full speed. It's that's not the question. The question though is is um, what is it really capable of? I mean, like, y you gave us the temperature at it, and now we've got a KV rating that's too low, way too low, all right? 200 KV too low almost. Uh, yeah, a little over 200 KV too low. They said they ran the test for, uh, for one minute. So we mo we're mimicking their test, and I wanna know, how did they do that? Um, yeah, maybe. So I tell you what, let's be fair though, let's be fair. Obviously nobody's gonna be running a 4S at 100% for one minute, but the test is on their site. I want to duplicate their test, and I couldn't because the damn thing catches on fire, right? I want to see if it's got 3,800 kV. It doesn't. That's another problem right there in itself. Now, I'm going to pull the T-motor off the bench um, and, uh, and get started with the last one. So now what we have is we have two burned up T-motors, and we have this brother hobby that's last. And this is going to be the last motor of the night, actually, okay? Uh, that Yeah, that was the T-motor 1507. Uh, it's this one here, the 1507 uh, 3,800 kV. Okay, it's the F, it's this one here, all right? Or this one, both boxes are identical and both motors pretty much look exactly the same right now. All right, uh, we'll take the motors apart later. All right, so let's get to the, let's get to the last motor, all right? So let me go ahead and switch the screens and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with now the Brother Hobby as the final motor for the night. Uh, it's, I didn't expect to do all these tests, but I am really excited that we got this one. So I can tell you, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm not hammering T-Motor, but I will tell you that they have the worst KV rating of all the motors, including against the Flash Hobby. Um, this son of a bitch is hot still. So give me a second so I can uh, tend to my burns that I'm about to get. Um, I'm going to try to take this. Let me get a, let me get a, uh, a bell holder here. All right. So uh, let's get this on here because I cannot take this prop off. It's too damn hot to grab the thing. Here we go. All right, so T-Motor's gonna go aside. Yeah. Uh, T-Motor's gonna go aside, and we're gonna... Uh, I think my prop's melted to it, actually. I'm not kidding here. Um, I'm gonna try to get this off. Bear with me a second. I know you guys cannot see this. Um, okay, so actually, the prop did not melt. It just kind of was looked like it was fusing, but it's not. All right, so let's get this Brother Hobby on. Uh, for the last test. All right. Um, so we had, yeah, we had the HDLRC fry after like, I think it was on the third prop. It was, I had said it was going to probably fry on the second prop because you could smell it that bad. One more run on that prop and it would have died. The third prop, it died. That smoked out. The T-Motor smoked out, but T-Motor smoked out only because I pushed it under their test, not, not because it went under the regular test. All right. So I do have to be fair about that. All right, let's get to this Brother Hobby and we'll call it a day. So this is gonna be the Brother Hobby. Let me see which one this is exactly. All right, this is gonna be the uh, 1507. Oh shit, I can't read that. My eyes are too bad. Let me see, is that this one right here? No. I gotta find them. Oh, here it is. The VY here, 1507, 1900 KV. I think this sucker's gonna do just fine. I don't think it's gonna fry at all. Uh, I don't know how it even made it into this test because it's not the right KV. Well, let me just go ahead and get a fresh battery. We'll do a KV rating. Okay, and I happen to have, perfect, three batteries charged to do a full test. So that'll work out well. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is do a KV rating. So let me go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna use a regular battery for that one. Okay, so here we're gonna to go to utilities, 
And we're going to go to... Man, that, that smoke was bad. That was really bad. Shit. So that's going to be a brother hobby. Uh, hobby. And this is going to be a 1507. This is the VY. VY 1507-1500 dash KV. So the first thing we'll do is just get a KV rating. See how good it is. Why is this not typing? 1507, 1900 KV. All right. And we're going to do a KV test here. Okay. And we're going to do the uh, no prop for right now. None. Okay. All right. And let's just do a manual here. All right. We're going to do the KV. So here it goes. Uh, I don't know the polls on this one either. So I'm going to run this assuming it's the same polls, but if we get a crazy KV, we'll know to adjust it. Eighteen eighty-three. All right. So I think the polls are going to be right. It's eighteen eighty-three out of nineteen hundred. I'll take it. So let me do number five is going to be the brother hobby VY fifteen oh seven nineteen hundred KV motor. Okay. All right. So the first run for a KV test pulled eighteen eighty-three. Uh, not bad. That's seventeen off. So eighteen eighty-three. We're going to do our second run and then we're going to go test it. Uh, the V two. Okay, so let me just tell you, um, it's funny you asked that question. So let me tell you what I ran. Okay, so I ran the V2 2306. I had the 2203s, and I'm going to run those tomorrow as well um, and see what happens. What do we have here? 1885. All right, we're consistent. I'll take it. So 1883 and 1885. All right, so that's going to do, do it for that KV test. Now let's do some prompt tests, okay? First thing we're going to do is let's take the uh, let's take the three by three by three that was obliterated by the shit. I hope I can. Oh, there it is. This is the prop that was obliterated <laughs> by the T motor. Motor. I'll uh, I'll be fair though, and I will go back and run a T motor again without trying to test their way. And I'll just see what we get for thrust and stuff. I mean, I mean, it's, it doesn't do me any good to not have any data at all on it. So um, I just wanted to see if that was really legit that they ran that thing for a minute. Just didn't make any sense. All right, let me make sure it's going the right direction. I don't think it is. Nope, it's not. So we'll swap these two wires. So I have been wrong on every motor tonight in terms of just randomly guessing to connect these wires so it spins the... Uh, counterclockwise, so not a good night for my random guessing. Let me make sure this is right. Yep. All right. Here, all right. So we're gonna do again. This is running on a 4S. Um, so just just keep in mind it is a 1900 kV motor running on a 4S. It's gonna be kind of boring, I think. But um, let me go to the automatic control. We are gonna go just run a regular test. Uh, I do not want to run. Oh man, I lost my. Uh, Oh, crap. Hold on. So let me clone this. This is just going to be called the CFPV thrust. I, I actually used the other one. I accidentally overwrote it. So let me just go back here and change some of these numbers. Bear with me a second. I'm not looking to kill this motor. All right. So here we go. Okay. So this is going to be good. Uh, see if we, so this one. We're going to use a comparison. Let's go ahead and clear the thrust out. And we are running a fresh motor. Yep, a fresh battery. Here it goes. Let's see what happens. Okay.
Okay, so this was kind of boring, actually. And it really was, it really, I don't think this served a purpose at all. Time out a second. Let's go, uh, let's see what Brother Hobby has claimed on this one, okay? So let's go to uh, Brother Hobby. Uh, let, let's see what they've done. All right. I want to see what they're saying on this. God help us. I do not care about the stupid electric skateboard. Please stop with that. Okay, so we're doing the VY 1507 motor. And I want to see what they've, if they've put any data on this at all. We're running the 1900. So what are they saying? All right. Uh, they're saying that you can run a four to <laughs> Okay. If you want to, we're going to do it. So let's look at, so I'm going to go get a 6S. This is boring to me. Hell, let's just go to 6S. If they say you can do a 6S, I'm going to do a 6S. And I just happen to have one sitting right here. So let's see what happens. This is a Sugar Rush 6S uh, right here, as you can see. Okay. Now, let me see what they've said. On the 1900, what the hell? How, how I don't understand. So let, let me read this real quickly here. They ran a 6S on what? They, they ran a 6S on a 3100 KV? They ran a... F am, am I just missing it here? Does anybody... Can anybody explain this? Um, maybe I'm missing this here, but... They're running a 4S... Holy crap. I, I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so disappointed. So the 3100 KV is a 6S motor. And this 15... Well, you know what? I guess I can't run a 6S then because I can't understand what the hell they're talking about. How lame is that? I mean, you have a... I don't even know who does that. All right, I, I don't know. Um, I really don't understand this here. I'm really, I'm really at a loss here. Is why the hell would they... here? Why, why would they... Why would they do that? Um, why would they run? Oh, they're running a five. Oh, they're running a five inch prop. Never mind. I'm at a loss here. So they're running a five inch. Am I on the right freaking motor? They're running a five inch on this. <laughs> No idea what the hell they're talking about. Does anybody make any sense out of this? I mean, like, I'm giving you all a chance to chime in because I'm really confused as to they're running on a on the 1900. They're running a five inch. On the 3100, they're running a three inch. What the fuck? Dude, where's where's the you know what? I just don't care because it doesn't make. And I, I, I understand that voltage must be voltage, but um, poor newbies probably ask the same questions after they smoke and blow us. Almost no thrust at force. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. This, this is ridiculous. But they're saying put a five inch on it. Okay. You know what? Screw it. That's what we're gonna do. If they want to say that this is good with a four S and a five inch, you got it. I'm, I'm done because honestly, I, I don't know how their numbers are making any sense right now, but hell, you know what? Let's do it. They want to play, let's play. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this off because every other butter, you know, because this is going to be different. So let's go ahead and crank this sucker with a five inch prop on a 4S and see what happens. And then, uh, well, we're going to see. I mean, uh, that's, the, that's what we're holding them accountable for. So let's see, they used a 5141, oh my God. That's like, y'all are crazy. All right, let me go and grab, I'm, I'm, I've got all the props sitting here, so I'm, I've got all the five inch ones sitting here. Let me just see if this is a 5141. No, that's a 5151. Uh, that's all right, that's close enough. Hell, I don't care. Let's see. God, it smells like terrible shit in here. Uh, the KV I have is the 19... I mean, I pulled the 1900. There's... there's I've got 
like, like 2,000 of these things, but I just don't feel like digging for them. Um, yeah, so it's a 1900 KV, and these are, I think these are 5151s, not 5141s. Oh, there's a 5x4. Oh, I want to play, I want to play, I want to play. Come on, give me something. Here. What is this one? This is, this is a 5146. You know what? I'll take the 5146. Screw it. I'm gonna take the 5146 right here. This is gonna be the uh, the gem fan. Just let's just let's just have fun with that. All right. Let's just. Oops, that's gonna be the wrong prop though. I mean, that's what they're saying. That's what they're saying. I'm a little. I, I really don't understand that. But hey, you know what? If that's what they're saying, that's what they're gonna do. So I'm gonna run this setup right here. Let me show you what I'm doing here. All right. There. I'm gonna put this gem fan on here. This is a 5146. So they said they ran a 51. Oh, no, maybe this is a 5141. I have no idea. But what we're going to do is we're just going to see what happens. Let's go ahead and take the 4S. I mean, put the 6S aside till we blow some shit up. Let's take the 4S. This whole desk is becoming a hazard now. Um, here goes. I really... It's going to be interesting. And that's a big prop, so i got to get these wires out of the way. So hold on a second. Let me, um, let me get a zip tie here. I don't, I don't, I don't know how they're coming up with this, but if that's what they're doing, that's what they're doing. I'm not here to argue. I just make sure I don't ruin my wires. Okay, perfect. Now let's make sure this is spinning the right direction. Did they give any, I missed something here, hold on. The one thing that I cannot see, did they tell me, okay, so, oh my God, they ran this at 100% throttle for two minutes. <laughs> but what is everybody like on crack? Like, okay, yeah, sure, let's try that. Okay, fine. Um, I, I have to be sure that I'm not gonna be totally out of line here. 5146, and they ran a 51. 41 and I know they're gonna say ah you ran the wrong prop so what can I do you know I just say screw it but they ran it on a 15 amp ESC who does that I'm like I don't understand I'm so baffled by this I don't even know what to do uh, I, I'm just gonna run it I mean uh, yeah the props reverse that's how they um, that's how they have you do it uh, Okay, here goes crack. You got it. We're going to do this based on crack. They're on crack. Everybody's on crack. Um, I have no idea what to do here, so let's go to utilities, and we're just going to run a test. They ran it for two minutes, but I'm not running 50. I mean, I don't know why you would do 15 amp. That seems really pointless. Um, so we're going to leave that, but we're going to run here. We're running a gem fan, uh, and this is going to be the um, 5146, 51466. This is going to be doom right here. I know it. Dash three. Bye bye. Shit. All right. Let's go to manual. Make sure we're good. All right. We're good. Let's go to automatic. Let's reset. And I think what I'll do. I mean, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I have to disagree with you. It doesn't. I don't think it makes sense at all coming from a low KV perspective. I mean, like a low KV perspective on 15 amps, I don't agree at all. Um, not that I disagree with you. What I'm saying is I don't think it makes sense uh, to everyone the same way because I can tell you that we run low KVs and I don't put a, uh, uh, I don't put a 15, I don't, I don't know where they're getting 15 amp to limit it on 15 amp. But we're gonna see an amp reading here. Let's just see. I mean, I haven't, I haven't run it yet, so here it goes. Let's just go to automatic control. And let's just hope for the best. So I'm going to run this on a standard run, and we're going to see what we get first. So let's just give it a shot. All right, I'm just curious to see what happens.
So I will say that uh, the KV jump, 5.1 by 4.6 by 3, right? And we had like 540 grams, let's say. All right, so let's look at it real quickly. If we had 540 grams um, and it stayed under 15 amps, I have a 45 amp ESC running, so I really don't think it mattered. I guess what I'm looking at here is on their data. Uh, 4S at 15 amps, the ESC. Uh, ESC could be anything actually at this point, as long as it's over the 15 amps. <sighs> Let's see their thrust to weight, 617 grams, maybe. I could see that. Uh, max current, 14.9. Um, all right, so yeah, I can see that. I, I, I can see it. I don't understand why they would uh, put an ESC with 15 amps here. But again, that's just something. But it did. the numbers did come out pretty good. Um, so this motor actually performed okay, but it's hot as hell right now. So here's what we're going to do. They said that they were able to get this to run for two minutes. Now, I'm running a 51... 46 and they ran a 5141. I'm going to get a 5141 uh, only because I want to I want to do to them what uh, they did. So let me uh, let me go grab a 5141 and we're gonna run this for two minutes and see if this thing smokes. I'll be right back. Well, I'll tell you what, as luck would have it, I don't have a 5140. So I'm going to run this one and see. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, and Luis, I think that's exactly what it was, is they're saying that's what it'll draw. And you're exactly right. Because I was, well, it says the max current was 14.9. So uh, I guess what they're saying is you can run it on a, whoops, on a 15, on a 15 amp. The only thing is, I think, is um, I'm looking at the different KVs and I'm trying to figure out why they upped it uh, and why they would go to a 6S. Um, and it really comes down to efficiency. So I'm just looking at their efficiency. See, if you look at this chart online, their efficiency is 1.34. Uh, that's not great. And that's why I'm trying to figure out is why they bumped this one up and accepted such a low efficiency rating. This one's much better. So I think I think I have to look at the full chart, not just what it gets at the maximum, but what it gets uh, you know, on the way there. And that's what the Excel spreadsheet will show. So I'll publish all that. Um, all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run, I'm running a 50, 50, what did I say it was? A 50, oh shit, it's a gem fan, 5146. I think that's not gonna be as fair as them running a 5141. So I'm gonna compromise and I'm gonna run this five, uh, let me see. Five, 
Well, that's a 5.1. It's not gonna help. I'm gonna run this one. I just wanna run one for two minutes, and I wanna see if their motor will handle two minutes. So give me a second. Let me get this reading, and then we'll call it a day. I think that would have been a pretty good run today. So this is a 5 by 4.3. So I think they ran a 50.43, didn't they, on one of these? 51.43. All right, I'm gonna put this on here, and we're gonna take this one off. <coughs> and I believe I have the other KV, so I will bring those onto the bench later. But what I want to do right now is I just want to see. They said they ran the 51 for two minutes at 100%. So I'm going to run this one for two minutes at 100%. It's a, uh, let's see. Let me see. This is going to be uh, much less taxing, I think. So let's see what happens. And then we'll call it a day and we'll see what we get. And I'm going to leave that, I'm going to leave that lipo on there. It's got a little bit of life left in it. Uh, again, these are uh, 5043s. Okay, so we're going to run the 5043 and see what happens. So let's go. Now, this is going to be a setup, uh, utilities, and we're going to run the 5043 HQ. And we're going to run it for, I mean, we'll try two minutes. I don't see it happening. But again, uh, uh, weirder things have happened. So let's clear this and let's go to our automatic and let's load the T motor one. Actually, I, I don't know. I hate to run it for two minutes. I'll run it for one minute. This thing's gonna be too damn loud. It's freaking 1.15 in the morning. Everybody's gonna wanna whoop my ass after this. So let's start and get ready. Here we go. I'm gonna stop it. There we go. Got it. There it goes. Well, I'll tell you what, it would, it's, it's not too bad. Let me take this off. Let's see. So I'm going to unplug the lifeboat real quick. So hold on one second. And I'm going to take this off and look at the coils underneath because since it's not on carbon fiber, oh my gosh. I'll tell you what guys, um, this, this is looking pretty good. I think brother hobby nailed it with this um it's it's hot as hell though don't get me wrong but let me show you guys let me see if i can give you guys uh here i'll switch camera angles real quickly um here we go so you can see uh i think you can see that i mean we don't have i don't see any black spots on here me i really don't i mean i don't know if you can see that but i know it's kind of weird on the camera there but i don't see it i mean it looks really clean uh it went up a little bit hot is it hot oh it's 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 extremely hot yeah, I mean, it's fucking, it's painful hot. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what, I've got a uh, thing here. Let me just tell you where we're at. And that's after one minute. So let me just give you an idea of where I'm at with this. Hold on. I'm trying to put the, uh, so I'm at about a hundred and, You can see that. Uh, come on. I want this thing to adjust. It should. You should be reading about 195. All right. Fahrenheit. 
Sucker's hot. Let's we'll see if I can get another reading real quick. <sighs> yeah, it looks like the temperature's dropping pretty quickly, so I'm not going to get anything. I've got, right now, I'm getting about 185, maybe, 186. And if I could turn that light off, you might be able to read it here. 185. Um, but it wasn't 190, whatever it was that I showed you. Uh, um, so make sure they weren't black before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the T-Motor, um, the T-Motor caught on fire. I mean, I think, I think in that last video, there was a, I mean, I saw the smoke and then I saw it. So, um, yeah, I, I did check, uh, but we tried. Um, so I'll tell you what, it's got, uh, I'm impressed. I mean, I will say I'm impressed. I will test a few different props on here, but even with that, Still pulling at 500. Uh, you pulled at 500, uh, let's say, grams of thrust or whatever. Pretty good. Um, oh, no, the T-Motor didn't come out of the box. No, you can see here. You want to look? There, look. Try to find. You'll see the... Um, just look real closely if you can, and you'll see the copper in there. But can you see that? You see it a little bit. I mean, you know... Um, so uh, anyways, uh, that's that. I mean, this sucker's hot though, so I'm gonna let this cool down. Uh, I am looking at this. The, the copper is a little, t uh, some of the pieces are, but it's still, this one did really well. Um, as far as the team motor goes, uh, if you'd like, I'd be here, I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, it was fun. And, and just so that there is no, so that there is no hard feelings, uh, because I know I'm gonna get called on this one. Hold on. One last thing here. just to open it so I can show you guys so this will be and then that's it we'll call it a night um, anyways look guys I know it was a long night uh, but the idea here is to try to save you guys some money by uh, testing the stuff let's just let's just test them and see what happens right and we've got about a thousand mo well, not South Adams. we got about um, maybe a hundred different motors or 75 different motors something like that uh, and if you want to see, here's a T-Motor. I'm just opening it brand new, all right? Just because, and I know you were probably kidding, but I do feel like um, it's only fair that I do, if there's any doubt, we need to go ahead and address it. So this is the T-Motor. Ready? Here's a T-Motor. I don't know if you can see that, but it should come across. I'm trying here, guys, so I don't have the best lighting here, but you can see all the copper inside there. This is This is a brand new. Uh, T motor and it's everything's coppered out real nice, and this is the uh, this is running their test though. Please understand that I didn't make that test up. That was what they said they tested. I wasn't trying to be an ass about it. I will still do the full test on it. Um, all right. Anyways, listen guys, that's what we did today because I'm putting all the thrust data together. You will see the entire Excel spreadsheet with all the data on all the motors we just did from their thrust on the, you know, the different, the five props and four props we did, plus a couple little fun, fun ones we did tonight, and the, the ones that smell like absolute shit. Um, other than that, God bless, be safe, guys, have fun. Thanks for watching, and tomorrow night, we're gonna go with the bigger motors. So we're gonna do the 22 series motors, and we're gonna be running five and six S on those, and I think we have another surprise for T-Motor in stock for that one. We're gonna keep testing their, their methods until they tell me what, what environment they're in, where they can run something for a minute at that speed uh, and not crash it. Uh, be careful, be safe. And we'll see you guys. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Uh, peace. Bye.